Hello. Is, is Maury enjoying that treat? I hope he is. I think he is, if Help. he can find yeah. it. Hello, welcome to Pugcast episode 10. This episode, we have a sponsor. No, we, Dad. We're, spon we're sponsor. Who's our sponsor? The, the Illuminati themselves. Move so they can see the logo. Well, I, I just hope that... I wish Pepperoni would sponsor us because Maury's just having a rough time finding his treat here. Anyway, look. The Illuminati flag. There we go. Oh, we're being I can't sponsored see it. by what the What does Illuminati. the Illuminati flag even look like? It's it's red apparently. Oh, okay. It's since I actually have no attachment to the Illuminati. Which which you would I, say I, even I, if you did. That's correct, but I I mean maybe someday I'll get that big, you know, if I can or that is it that big or that small or that I would love to see that like nondescript or I would love to see like a coming of age like <laughs> like movie it's like an underdog story right but instead of like some guy trying to win like a boxing championship he's his life's goal is to join the illuminati <laughs> like a reality show yeah yeah maury has assimilated us into his illuminati cult let me just quickly type in the thing on facebook pug cast episode episode 10 is live you know i just can't find it and why can't i find it find what what we're doing like I'm at YouTube. Are you on your channel? I was, but it's not been. Oh, now it is. See, now if I go just to YouTube, it should. Oh, that is an interesting logo. Yeah. Okay. To be fair, um, we've only uh, been streaming for the past how long? Uh, two <laughs> okay. minutes. There well, we I'm sitting like I should have. See, you should have told me what color it was, and I could have worn something that would be worse. But uh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like that a lot. So, what's it like being affiliated? I don't know. I'm not affiliated. Can you just like walk Can't into you? a store and say, "Hey, I'm in the Illuminati," and they <laughs> give you like free stuff? Because if you what's, could, all right, what if you could? What store would that be? Seven <laughs> Eleven. Maybe like a Barnes and Noble. How about? Oh, here comes Armin. Good grief! Armin you mentioned the Illuminati, and Armin hops on the Armin's table. Armin's here looking for his affiliate link. Link, no, I, link I'm, in bio. I'm thinking it should be like PetSmart or Petco. Petco? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. is he? Everyone head to Petco Armin for your Illuminati Armin thinks he's merch. missing out. Hey, Ar newsflash, Armin. You don't eat pepperonis. Armin can eat whatever he wants, you know? Okay, you're missing all the all the good camera stuff here. Hey, well, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll put my camera on it no, and I'll switch to the side-by-side. Side <laughs> you should put my camera on. Yeah. 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 How about this? All right, you know what? Fine. Oh, we're, we've shattered the illusion. Wow, that, that wow, that's really go, weird. Give me like a go ahead. Effect. I have to get rid of Armin anyway. Uh, look at him. Look at look at this punk. Come here. Look at this pug. Come here. Do you think it'll key out anything that's green? Look, key out. Oh yeah, well that's weird. It's like a little peephole. Anyway, we're we're just still basically just starting this up. Uh, the the pug cast won't be as long as it usually is. Unfortunate, but I'm thrilled to say that as long as Dad's not in his chair, I can sit. Never mind, he's gone. All right. Well, here he it is. It didn't take long. It didn't take long to to cast Armin out into the cold and the rain. <laughs> We're kind of evil for being involved. Oh, in that. Maury! I'm, right, telling well, you. I'm gonna fade to a more regular angle. Did they did they get a good shot of Maury? Uh, yeah. They, they got a decent shot. He's got a little, one of his little, th we need to wipe his eyes after we're done here, but it looks like he's shedding a tear. So He is because he doesn't have his affiliate link. <laughs> he needs another pup. Maury, well, let me just zoom in. There. Maury, Maury, are you okay? Ah, he's going to be fine. <laughs> he just looks uh, so pathetic there. Oh, the camera, everything's, everything's going wrong. Yeah. Have you ever just wished? yeah Illumazon that that would be yeah, there's a good uh, there's a good store right there Illumazon can you yeah endorse the, them? the state of the, the Illuminati <laughs> state of the union speech <laughs> uh, we're here, ask the question of how we're we're here like, and we're still silent can I, can How's I do that? this without messing it up there we go that's good. I don't know wow it's like a weird <clears throat> thing anyway well, what's on the agenda today Dad well I. Well, you know, I wonder if mom's listening. Mom's mom's always yeah. watching. Drina, if you're if you're listening, can you bring the three books out? I forgot them. I guess I could go get them, but 
If, if you go get them, we can have pug cam for a bit. Yeah. All right. The the illusion's gone. The green screen is over. <laughs> the illusion's. Gone. Oh, I I would I would like to ask one thing. I'm I'm kind of curious. Yeah, Matthew says I'm getting seasick. All right. <laughs> um. What is? I, I'm looking for uh, some book suggestions. I'm almost through my. Uh, my, I, I listen to books on the way to work and back, <clears throat> so I'm almost done with the one I'm doing now. So has anybody read anything good lately? Not fiction. Something, you know, nonfiction. Yeah. Um, Amathia says I'm, I'm their favorite biblical scholar. Well, after this broadcast, that might change. <laughs> oh, yeah. You know, Grant, Grant asked if there's any summer meeting update. You know, th this is going to sound silly, but uh, Trey, if you're listening, I'm going to behave here. Trey has just told me not to say anything else about it. Um, let me see if I can somehow obey and disobey that at the same time. Um, you'll hear something hopefully soon, hopefully before the Israel trip begins so if you don't know when the israel trip is you got you can find that on my website and i'll kind of give you information <clears throat> now burnett's being contrary here for some reason here i don't know who he's responding to you you oh you actually listened to or read worms early christianity interesting boy i, I don't know if that's available in uh on audio, but I can check that out. I should move this closer too. Oh, these suggestions come in. I'm actually going to look some of them up. <clears throat> okay, uh, just to give you an idea, I, I I like to read stuff that isn't biblical studies. Uh, you know, I, I should say read, listen to uh, audio books. So the one I'm listening to now is about Agent Garbo. If you don't know who Agent Garbo is, you should. Uh, Garbo was the uh, the linchpin spy uh, responsible for the success of the D-Day deception of Hitler. It's, it's, it's really a great, it's a great book. And Garbo is just kind of a fascinating character. I like World War II, uh, espionage. <coughs> um, before that, I read uh, American Ulysses. Listen to that. It was over, it was probably almost 30 hours. It's a biography of Ulysses S. Grant, which was awesome. Uh, Grant, I didn't know a whole lot about. I mean, I knew the basics, but G Grant was a great man, just basically almost in every way. You know, just we could use somebody like him <coughs> in the White House now. Let's put it that way. But, you know, he was an extraordinary man. So I like reading stuff like that. I like history. Could be ancient, could be modern. If it's modern, I like World War II. Civil War is kind of cool. I've been through a lot of the American Revolution stuff uh, by Ellis. Uh, great, great books there. Biographies, you know, of important people. I really like Constantine's Sword. Okay, what? Boy, I've heard of that, but what? Is, what? Is, what is that about again? Remind me what that's about. Of course, I can just look it up here. Constantine's Sword. I know I've heard that somewhere before. Oh, let's see. The Church and the Jews, a history. Okay. Let's see if that's available. Is that available in audio? Unfortunately not. What? That's a bummer. Should go over the Audible site and make sure. Oh, let's see. I'm Calvin. You may have to go out and get the uh, the books. They're on the the dining room table. All right. There's three of them. So, boy. Well, their website is singularly unhelpful. So. Yes, I'm already a member. Why can't you just like let me search? Okay. I'm just gonna chroma key something behind you again while I go out. Okay. And get that stuff. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna bring back your, uh, your good side. Your true, your true colors. 
Let's talk about lame websites. Oh, that doesn't look good. You know, any website that doesn't just automatically let you sign in, but like fix it. tries to make you want to sign up. I just hate those. All right, here we go. Does it look good? Constantine Sword. You're, you're, you're just going to... Go ahead. You're just going to kind of exist in this ugly limbo. Oh, great. Now I get another ad. Well, that's awesome. That's really awesome. So, Thanks, Audible. Close enough. I'll tell you. Man, pathetic. So let's go back here. All right. After two, ser two searches, I find out it's not available, which I basically already knew. From the Amazon search. Let's see here. Oh, they made it into a documentary. Is that um, Ghosts of Spain? Or Jen, are you talking about Ghosts of Spain? Oh, yeah. A Man Called Intrepid. Um, I got I to gotta look for that. That would be a good one. I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling uh, over April and May, so I like to have... Yep, that one's available. I like to have... Um, hey, Dad. Yeah. Catch. No, don't throw them. Please? No. I was okay. There we go. Wait, hold. Just hold on those we for just, one uh, second. Just get rid of the here. Illuminati ghost face thing you got going on here. Let's that's, see here. Yeah, that's not distracting at all. Oh yep, congratulating David. It was good. Let's see. Book Constantine's sword. Oh, man called intrepid ghosts of Spain. What is the ghosts of Spain about? Let's see here. Okay, Ghosts of Spain is not available on, on on audio. What are you doing, Kyle? Oh, you're moving that. All right. You blew my cover. They were cool. Yeah. Did that. <clears throat> Let's see here. Occult America. I have that in hard copy, but I have not read it yet. Let's see if that's available. That would be a good one, too. Oh, it is available. Look at that. I'll add that to the wish list. Okay. These are good. Calvin, do you want to join the Illuminati? Is that why you're putting the green screen? Be oh, no, you're going to put it behind Maury again. Sure. Okay. Are you Let's kidding see. me? Yeah, what kind of car do you think the Illuminati has? Matthew, Matthew says bye-bye, Illuminati. <laughs> oh. you know, they say the Illuminati is always watching. You know who else is always watching? Maury here. Maury. My mom's always watching. You know that. I was going to say Gary Wayne. Let's see here. Thanks for covering the Book of Og issue. Oh, boy. That's gotten out of hand on YouTube. No. Something out of hand on YouTube. I just can't believe it. Um, let's see. Yes, I'm, I'm conducting secret and nefarious occult rituals because you reject the King James Version. That's pretty good chaos, too. <laughs> you got... You cram so much nonsense into just that that one sentence. That's that's impressive. Speaking uh, of nonsense, that is impressive. People who don't like pugs. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Is it good, Moore? Maury's liking that. Okay, here here's what Calvin brought in. Um, we just got these this week. We've run one contest on Twitter and one on Facebook. Or no wait, no, it was one on. My wife's in charge of this. So one on Instagram, one on Facebook. I don't know if we did one on Twitter or not. But here are the three. If I can sit back here. These are the brand new uh, release, brand new editions of the 60 Second Scholar series uh, by Zondervan. We got a couple boxes of these from uh, HarperCollins this week. So this is what they look like. I know you've seen the picture on, on Amazon if you've gone up, but here they are. Um, again, they kept the, uh, you can't really see this, but they kept the 60 Second Scholar series, even though if you see the subtitle, it says 80 expert insights. You know, the originals were, were 100 each. So Zondervan wanted them trimmed to 80, 80 a pop. Um, gives you an idea of thickness and whatnot. So about the same as the other. But they really did a nice job uh, on the layout. And, and my favorite part of this is on the back. 
it actually mentions the Naked Bible podcast. So, Lord willing, uh, these will sell well. They're going to be in bookstores everywhere. Uh, I get, you know, Zondervan HarperCollins has a good reach. So they should be in, you know, your Barnes and Noble, your, you know, I, I don't you know. You should what, sneak into Barnes and Noble the, and, and sign every single copy. Well, I mean, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll check it. I mean, they're, they're going to ship May 1st. So they're, they're probably not going to be there until after May, May 1st. Well, we'll check, but since Family Christian, their chain went under, I don't know what the, the Christian chains are. It really doesn't matter because Barnes & Noble has their Christian section anyway, and that's where Zondervan's going to send them. Should we get um, an outsider opinion on that? So I, I know there are other chains. I just don't know them off the top of my head. Uh, I think Maury wants to weigh in on this. So let's, so let's he wants to, to weigh in. Yeah. Wow, we have somebody from the Philippines. What Boy. Think, Maury? <laughs> <laughs> he's, just, he's got that leakage you know he just looks like he's shedding a tear <laughs> oh, he looks so pathetic more he's about oh, to go boy. on like a, on like on like a journey yeah truth channel says pull a mark driscoll and buy a hundred thousand and then do the fake new york times <laughs> that's oh like that's already idea. that's already been done yeah yeah that's a great cheating dishonest idea that's the power uh, of the illuminati yeah, see, I, yeah, right. I should not. Oh, no, wait. See, I'm not supposed to be in the Illuminati. So, so okay, if, if it hits the uh, New York Times bestseller, you'll, that'll be proof I'm in the Illuminati. So, that? so like, is Illuminati, like, the, the religious version of calling someone a Nazi? Like, it just, I, like, no, you can just well, say it to anyone. I, I don't know. I'm not sure which way to go. Now, Burnett suggests the Aryan Jesus. You know, I, I listened to, uh, um, What's the podcast called? On Script. It's more. Let's um, mom. And he he interviewed uh, Susanna Heschel on that night. <laughs> that face. Yeah, and I listened oh, to that, go. and it was really a good interview. And I, I like I like uh, 19th century. This is going to sound really weird, but I'm really interested in how anti-Semitic scholarship penetrated the academy in the 19th century, and like Nazi occultism, all that stuff. I really am interested in. Uh, because that, it did affect biblical studies. Um, it's mostly known in the New Testament because of the old Kittle, and there, you know, that got a lot of negative exposure. And, and they and Heschel talks about that in the interview, but it's it's Old Testament too. But let me look that up. Look at how active he is. He's Marian actually standing Jesus. upright. I hope this is. When you're more, he's standing unaudible. upright is basically exercise. Yeah, I, I have a. Oh, it's not. Yeah, I have I have that in hardback. Again, I've I've looked at it and read read bits and pieces of it, but oh well, I'll just have to read that like a regular book. Black Sun, uh, I've read most of Black Sun, um, and it, and it's good. Um, all of Goodrich Clark's books are are good on Nazi occultism. The first one is was his dissertation at at Oxford, as I recall, Cambridge or Oxford, and then there were two follow ups to it, but it, it's good stuff. Yeah, Maury looks like Darth Sidious. <laughs> now, Maury's always camera ready. Yeah. No, about? Grant, I believe no, you. Help, Constantine someone help sword him. sounds like a good, <laughs> a good face read. Is dirty. His face is dirty. <clears throat> oh, let's yeah, see. Maury forgot. Forgot. Maury skipped to the makeup chair today. Okay, I, I'm. I'm gonna. I hope Trey's not listening because I'm gonna let this slip a little bit. Uh, Chaos Tamer said, had a, has a comment here about Pan Babylonianism. One of the speakers at our conference this summer, that's his topic. Ooh. I specifically asked for that, and and that that is on the dock. And I so, assume you will be there as well. well yeah, I'm, I'm going to be there's, I'm I'm going to speak once, so we have a we have a, a, a lineup of is more going to be there? people. I'm not giving out any names or any titles or any schedules, but I'll say that much. Now I'm done with that. Is Maury going to be there? Uh, I want to bring him to an event I don't think and I want to be pug secure. No, I don't yeah, pug secure. <laughs> yeah. No, you just want to charge people for money for pictures with the pug. That's what you I, I didn't even think about that, but yeah, I'm, now, now yeah, I want to do it even more. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even think about that, right. Um, Lee asked, are you still considering getting another pug? Yes, we are. It, it's, it, it's not that easy. We're going to have they're, a they're, family of pugs. Yeah. We're going to name them all after fictional villains. <laughs> We got Moriarty. See, I, st I still like Loki. L yeah, I, we need to get I a pug named Loki. I still like Loki. 
but I'm, I'm not going to win that battle. Um, yeah, someone's Carl is volunteering as Maury's governess. That's right. Yeah, I don't know if he's going to make it to uh, to Dallas or not, because uh, that's where it's at. Oh boy, Caleb. Caleb says he has the original 60 second scholar series wondering what the 20 articles are not in the Zondervan. It's 20 each. Um, that would take, that would take a few hours to figure out. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not, I can't remember. I don't have that in my head. Um, they did not, I should say they did not like target, at least I didn't get any sense that they were targeting anything that they thought would be inflammatory. I never got any note to that effect as I was going through. I did have to go through and reorder things, you know, based upon what they took out. So I, I did see what they took out. I just, I don't have the list in my head, but I didn't get any impression. And I, and I would have said something too. I didn't get any impression that they were targeting anything that they just thought, you know, their readers wouldn't like or something like that. So... Green eggs and ham. <laughs> yeah. uh, I I have read Westy the White asks about Annie Jacobson. I have read three of her books. The paperclip book is really good. Phenomena is really good. Um, the Area Fifty One book. You know it's it, it's worth having. You know like for a history, almost like a reference. But there's nothing special about it. Um, the, the Roswell stuff she throws in there is just ridiculous, um, you know, and, and she has no, that, that's the only part of the book that she's got like no documentary basis for at all. It's just, it's, it's silly. You, you could find out what she says on Google, but Phenomena is, is really good. And so is the paperclip. I think the paperclip book, it's probably fair to say that that supersedes the, the previous couple of books on Operation Paperclip because she, I think she had access to a little bit more material and she did, she did some, some relevant interviews there too. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I would recommend any of those. She has another one on DARPA, which I read and, and, and again, it's just, it's a standard kind of history. Um, it's not like a detailed academic history, neither is the Area 51 book, but it's still, both of those are useful for you know, referencing, you know, things, referencing those subjects. But the two that are, I thought were just really compelling, you know, to listen to were the paperclip and the, uh, and phenomena. I can't remember what she's working on now. She's working on something that, that sounded interesting. I just, I saw it like two or three days ago and I can't remember it, but uh, let's see here. Um, no, uh, um, Amathia about Morningstar and Revelation. Yeah, what you just have to read Unseen Realm for that and, and follow the, uh, the the material of the footnotes for that. Um, yeah, I just don't know off the top of my head. Ben Shapiro claims to be a practicing Jew. Well, he is a practicing Jew. He doesn't claim it. I mean, that, that's what he is. Ben Shapiro claims to be Jewish. Right. He just... He just does all the Jewish stuff to make you think he's Jewish. No, he, he's he's a, he's a Jew. He's a, a really conservative Jew. Um, yeah, your thoughts on original sin? I, I don't. I wouldn't take Shapiro as a good source of theology. What he's talking about there is, he's talking about um, the when he said when he his comments about original sin are referring to the kind of stuff you'd read in Romans five. And, and since you don't find the specific Romans 5, 12, you know, kind of stuff in the Old Testament, that's what he's talking about. Unfortunately, that isn't terribly uh, well informed. I mean, uh, Stanley Porter has a, a, a decent art. I, mean, I, don't, I don't agree with all of his conclusions, obviously, but Porter has a nice article uh, surveying um, Second Temple Judaism on you know Paul's the background of Paul's view of original sin again I'm, I'm not endorsing all the conclusions but it was a discussion and, and if I could be utterly simplistic here uh, people either rooted there, there actually been a couple of recent dissertations on this that have been published like Miriam Bryant Brand has a, a really good one um, it's usually cast in academia as the origin of evil 
instead of original sin. That's kind of Christian language. Um, but people were divided uh, between um, Second Temple discussions, divided between personal responsibility and the sin of the watchers uh, being the, the root of this. Um, but but nobody's forgetting, you know, that Genesis three is in their Bible when they're doing that. They're they're just looking at what what are the two main explanations for why the world is so bad. So you you get those two things. Then you get talk at Qumran. Qumran was very dualistic uh, about sort of God's role uh, in in the in the two spirits, the, the spirits within people. You know, or one oriented to good, one oriented to evil, that kind of thing. So there was actually a lot of discussion, but you don't get, you don't get the Romans five twelve kind of language, and so that's that's kind of what Shapiro's you know angling for, uh, putting the best spin on it I can. But but you'll find if you listen to Shapiro, and I do, I listen to Shapiro every week. That what he knows about the Bible is basically just medieval rabbinic kind of stuff. He's not doing biblical studies like scholars would, you know, that that work in the field. He's 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 entrenched in the rabbinic you know community. So uh, do, 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 let's see here. Boy, I, somehow I got all the way back to the the beginning here. I'm looking at these uh, other side of history from great courses. The other side of history. Yeah, boy. You know, I I, I get those catalogs a lot, and that that one's not ringing a bell. Let me just see if that's available here. Oh, it is. Daily life in the ancient world. Okay, well, that's a possibility. Let's see here. Reading the Godawa Primordial series. That's a good question. Are any of Godawa's things on audio? Let's see here. I'm just going to put his name in here and see if. Oh, yeah, some of them are. Yeah. The, the fantasy series is. Oh, and he narrates them too. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe I'll, I've read one, I've read two of those. So maybe, um, maybe I'll try one of those too. Okay, yeah, mom's watching again. I got to catch up. Well, I'm just so far behind here on this, on the screen here. What is, what is, oh wait, what was that? Amchitka and the bomb? Is that spelled correctly? Ron Johnson's calling me. I'm, I can't pick that up. Right Can now. I pick it up? No, no, okay. don't. Just I'll, I'll call him back. Um, but he, like he just got a shout out on the podcast. He should be, he should be grateful. He should be. Uh, uh, he will be our next guest. <laughs> Let's see here. Hey, Dad, Dad, I have a question. If, if we have guests on the PugCast, Dad, are you listening? Yeah, If we I'm have listening. guests on the PugCast, can we make them sit in Maury's spot? <laughs> yeah, we could. They, no, they have to sit here and hold Maury. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The guest gets to hold Maury. Uh, yeah, I, I don't find anything of that spelling with the bomb, so I... Yeah, I don't know what that is. Kohlhoff offers an interesting account of destruction of the wilderness natural areas as a result of World War II, the Cold War, and the testing of nuclear weapons. Who, who published that? Because I've, I've read a good bit on, on how do I put this? Um, on Nazi, the, the achievement of Nazi nuclear capability. Now, not, not deliverable capability, but they were, they were able to, to get uh, weapons-grade uranium without using the, uh, without using, you know, the reactor process. So I've, I've read a good bit on that, but, and that doesn't sound familiar as far as them actually. I know, that, I know there were some quote-unquote tests, but this sounds like it's much more dramatic. So I'd kind of like to know who published that. Uh, I, I should say that the references to tests are really uh, the testimony of a couple pilots that said they, they flew test runs. But um, if, there, if there's anything more than that, I, I'd be interested if it's from a, a reputable source. You know what the most reputable news source is, Dad? <coughs> yeah. Uh, Infowars. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Alex Jones, the he's, fall he's of, extra woke. Fall of Berlin, 1945. Okay. 
I've read Hitler Land. You know, and I've, I'm interested in stuff on, uh, well, just all World War II, but this sounds good. I'll tell you what else I read that, you know, yeah, there it is, Fall of Berlin, 1945. That, that's good. That'll go on the list. That's a good possibility. Um, the only thing, like, at the, about the end of the war specifically I've read is Grey Wolf. Um, the Dunstan and Williams, I think, the their theory of Hitler survival, which I will say it's not an airtight case, but it's pretty it's pretty compelling. It's it's plausible. Let's put it that way. Um, I thought thought it was pretty well done, but you know who knows, honestly. Let's see here. Hey Dad. Yeah, I'll make Mike a staff so he can hit Calvin. Yeah, in the Fringe Pop studio, I have Gandalf's staff, and it that is a serious weapon. Probably, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna get to go in the summer, you know, yeah, for I summer filming. But I that, I mean, that's a serious weapon. Yeah. By the way, that, that thing weighs like 15 pounds, and it's solid. Like I didn't expect that at all. You, you know what's crazy? Like a lot of things are like more dangerous than you'd expect them to be, right? Like in pris <laughs> like in certain prisons, they ban newspaper because people take all these newspapers, right? And they wind them up so tightly that they just make this thing that hits as hard as a baseball bat out of know, just literally just, paper. It's ridiculous. Like, like it's crazy what, you know, paper and what. I, in, when I was in, uh, well, this was high school and, and early college. One of my friends was a prison guard. Yeah. He was, I don't know, four or five years older than I was. And he just had the craziest stories, stuff like that, what, what they could weaponize. But, uh, yeah, he, he got out of that. <laughs> I mean, if you give people enough time, they can weaponize anything. Weaponized pugs. Yeah. Pugs yeah, are already weaponized. I, looking for the Past uh, recommends Above Top Secret by Timothy Good. I've read that. Read that quite a while ago. Um, let's see. Yeah, the, the Alex Jones. Oh, yeah, yeah. Boy. I, I, okay, unpopular opinion. I, I really do think... It's an act. There is not you know, a thing there, you can do in the world to convince me that he's not acting. Look, there's actually a good circumstantial case for that because I remember listening to another talk show one time where they ran down the I, I don't know I'd have to I'd have to Google it to, to get the guy's name, but there was like a a former talk show host that like dropped out of, of the business who a number of people suspect are uh, that's actually Alex Jones now sort of reinvented reinvented himself and this guy like supposedly died or something like that it, it it's a conspiracy theory but uh, Alex Jones the, the, would be proud the show that I heard this on is not a like a, a YouTube internet conspiracy show it was like a mainstream show just going down through this whole thing it was actually kind of interesting but yeah but i don't think we'd even need that to consider so like, so like he I, faked I his own he, death and then reinvented his own character like you're saying I don't, yeah. I don't think he faked his death i i just think like the way he portrays himself online is not how he really is and he's trolling everyone oh well that could be th th that's truly what i believe <clears throat> because like there's a lot of because he's clearly capable of playing that as a character there's a couple skits on his youtube channel uh, where he does that, and I enjoy watching his content because I know it's parody, yeah. or at least I believe I it's think, parody. Yeah, you know, Matthew's trying to start a fight here now. He has Alex Jones as the real Illuminati. Alex Thank, Jones. Thanks for that, Matthew. No, I'm no. I mean, like at some <laughs> point, I want to have a serious discussion about this because uh, I, I truly do believe that Alex Jones is parody, and if he is, which I'll, I think he is, he I'll is try the to king find that. of parody. I'll try to find that for you. Like, uh, there's. There's a really great video on his channel. I, th I don't remember what it's called. I think it's called Alex Jones Goes Nuts or something. And it's just like a video of him pretending to have his rampage. Like he like he rips his shirt down the but middle. He, but he does. His staff's like holding him back. I know, but he's done that more than once. Well, though. yeah, but all, all I'm saying is that he's clearly capable of acting that persona out yeah. in a non-serious way. Yeah. I, I truly do believe he's a parody, and I want to meet him really yeah, badly. I, I, I've not watched him enough to really have an opinion here. but He's, he's clearly parody, and, and a very good one. He, he is the weird owl of conservatism. Here we have Alex Jones' head is a conspiracy. Alex Jones is not acting. No, no, he's definitely acting. There's yeah. not a thing you can do to convince me otherwise. Has anyone read Gander? Is that like a book title, Gander? Let's, let me look that up. Gander. We, we should get Alex Jones on the show and have him sit in Maury's bed. Gander. 
No, that doesn't show up well. There's, I, I, yeah, I don't know what, what Gander One way has the right A little, little more specific there. Someone says that Alex Jones' head is flat. You know, <laughs> so is the planet. Don't even, st anyway. yeah, look, somebody just said here, like Earth, you know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah there you go. So. You know, I was playing this game, right? This game that came out lately. And, and I think it would be interesting to do, like, uh, like a separate video mm -hmm. or, like, a uh, podcast or something about this game specifically. But I've been playing through Far Cry 5 lately, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we wanted to bring this up. Yeah. And uh, there's a – and I show you a screenshot of this, but, uh, you know, it's a, it's, you know it's, a, it's a video game. There are guns and you shoot stuff, right? And when you're – and you're wearing customized things, you put different attachments on it you can get what's called a long scope. And the long scope's description is, for those of you who want to shoot from so far away, you have to accommodate for the Earth's curvature because it's not flat. <laughs> they actually have that in the game. Yeah, yeah, Han. Uh, oh, can, I, yeah. can I pull up a picture of it? Yeah, go ahead if you can I, find it. Oh, uh, I downloaded it like 20 minutes ago. Was it, wasn't this the game that you said, like some people thought it was anti-christian but when you actually play it it's not or something yeah, like that yeah yeah there we go i put it up on the screen okay. long range scope designed for shooters interested in long range targets don't forget the curvature of the earth it's not flat <laughs> there we go but yeah uh it's hard to believe they're they become part of this now <laughs> <coughs> yeah. well, that's that's, well, that's all i wanted to bring up about that's the game. interesting yeah but I, I, do, I do think the game has enough religious symbolism and content to warrant like its own discussion mm -hmm. Because it's really cool. Amy's been playing it as well. We're going to play it together at some point. It's going to be great. It's going to be grand. All right. Well, well let, me, let me know. Alex Jones has... Hi, no, Far Cry... Hi, Bon. Hey, Bain, Mr. Wonderful. Far Cry is not trash. We, we, we can discuss that later. Yeah, I don't read fiction. So somebody just recommended fiction here. University of Washington publisher Amchitka. Yeah. Well, let me look that up on Amazon. That's That's... If it's an academic, here, here, good, good lesson for everyone. If there's a book published by a university publisher, you know it's not on audio because yeah. they only publish books that like are going to sell a hundred copies because uh, they're academic things. But let's look that up on Amazon and see. You're right, Truth Channel. Uh, the Bible is actually flat. Um, and as for Bible Thumpers thing, no, I'm on Xbox One and PC. Amchitka and the Bomb, nuclear testing in Alaska. Boy, the cover's really kind of lame. Hopefully that's not an indication here. Hi, Bond's the kind of guy who would say that Far Cry 3 was the best Far Cry. Okay, this is U.S. testing. Yeah, I don't see anything in here about Germany, but uh, yeah, testing of nuclear weapons. I'll bet, yeah, University of Washington Press. How much does it go for? Oh, it's you can get it used for fifteen bucks. I'll probably get that. Um, let me see if if uh, th there's for those of you who read the portent, um, the the <laughs> Antarctic stuff in there had something to do with uh, nuclear testing in the polar regions. I, I just want to see real quick. And I know we have to wrap up here soon because I'm, I'm just crushed with other stuff to do. But let me see if that um, article does not reference this here. For those of you who read the portent, uh, the article I'm looking for here on my drive was by a guy named Summer Hayes. Yeah, it's not in that folder. Boy, where would I have filed that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to go back probably in my, uh, let me see if my if I have my fiction file here. Uh, the portent. Uh, did I have this stuff filed in the same fo folder? Probably not. No. Well, I'd have to look for it, but... It's something available online uh, about the whole uh, German Antarctic mythology. And there's a section of the article that talks about why um, 
radiation would, was uh, detected at certain points in the early Cold War period, and it was largely because of this kind of thing, uh, nuclear testing elsewhere, something about wind currents and whatnot. But I'd, I'd specifically want to know if they reference this. This is, this is interesting. Uh, even though it's not audio, I will certainly uh, take note of that. It'll probably be one I get, just, just to have it as a good resource. All right. Uh, do you mind if I quickly address two things directed at me in the comments? Yeah, go ahead. First of all, Mr. Wonderful, have on. Uh, no, I don't like Overwatch. Overwatch is garbage. It's cancer. The community's cancer. <laughs> you should feel bad for playing it. You should feel I, bad for owning I, it. I, I, okay, Calvin. That's, when, when I, okay, you know, okay, here's the thing. You, you, it, is your it, opinions isn't like of video games are just too black it, and white. Isn't Tracer in Ready Player One or something? Because if she is, that's cancer. Anyway, uh, the second thing, uh, it's getting lost in the chat. Chaos Tamer asks, Calvin, are you getting God of War? No, I'm not because I don't like the God of War games. Somebody asked if I watch Andrew Clavin. I've, I've seen two or three of his shows. I'll probably try to, to watch or listen to. And I, I don't really wa I don't watch Shapiro either. I listen to him. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I like the, the two or three that I got, you know, to listen to. So I'll probably listen to more of, of him. So, all right. I need to – what am I getting here now? <laughs> Burnett just texted me. As soon as y'all started talking about Alex Jones, I was out. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I, I wish I could say the same thing, Dave, uh, even though it's funny. Um, let's see here. Yeah, well, I'm going to wrap up. So this was an abbreviated version. I'm neck, uh, you, neck deep in the Demon's Manuscript. Can you which I'm trying to finish. Time. Yeah, I'm trying to finish that before. Hug your books harder, Israel. Dad. You gotta be like a Logan Paul. <sighs> Try to remember who Logan Paul is. Uh, he's the guy okay, who here. did the cool films. <laughs> yeah, him. Okay. Well. Yeah, he, he made a he made a really great vi uh, video about like suicide or something. It was really emotional. Oh, it's that. It's the it's the YouTube guy that got banned or something. <laughs> uh, okay. I wish he got banned. Right, he wish he had, was banned. Okay, he, here he, like, are the books. He like dead rats. Uh, please. You know, if you're interested, get them on Amazon. They will ship after May 1st, but they exist. Again, we've got the uh, got the proof here now that they actually exist. And we'll be doing a, a few more book giveaways, too, after uh, May 1st. Uh, we'll do a handful of those. But, um, yep, there you go. They are real, and they'll be out in a couple of weeks. Can you pass me the books, Dad? Sure. I just want to see if Maury approves of them, all right? So, so, so let's vote. <sighs> okay. Do you think he likes it? Mor Maury is absorbing the content now by osmosis. You might have you might have interrupted his long division practice though. Maury doesn't need long division. Yeah. He's he's working on maybe all, calculus. All, all Maury needs to know how to do is divide and conquer. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's right. Maury, Maury does long division to divide and conquer. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. This has been Pugcast Ten. Uh, join us next time where. When Maury Finishes crashes the car. Yeah. <laughs>